Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of John's Gaming and Tech. In this one, we're doing setting up your control panel. I will show you guys how to set it up for a standalone and also how to set it up to run it through your CM2 throttle. Uh, stay tuned and we'll get started. Welcome back. Thank you for joining as always. If you guys find any value in this video, please make sure to subscribe and like and uh, hit the notification bell. It helps me out and also keeps you guys notified for when I have new videos come up. And uh, appreciate y'all sticking around and let's get started. So I've already done a video. I'll put a link in the description uh, or a card on the top. Somewhere there'll be somewhere to click to see my initial unboxing of this uh, control panel and give you guys a really good look at it. So we'll jump right into it. We have your control panel on the top. Now, if you want your um, plugs at the bottom, all you have to do is take these six screws out. There's one, two, three, and three on the other side. You can pull this whole thing off, rotate it, and set it down, and it will move your plugs to the bottom. And after you do that, we have USB and we have an out. We're going to start with USB and we will start. Uh, you're going to want to get your USB cord out that came with the control panel and direct, plug that directly into your computer so we can do a firmware update and also set up your control panel locked in here if I can my fingers will work today and plug it into your computer so now what you're going to want to do is if you guys haven't already downloaded the purple software I'll leave a link down in the description where to get to that software and also um, check out my quick start guide link down below uh, more card at the top. So we're going to go to our configuration tool. And wait. See right at the top, it's already picked up the, uh, the control panel. Give it just a second. Now we're going to go to firmware. Select your device. Oh, I'm sorry. Select your device. Then go to firmware. Start auto firmware update. OK. During this update, make sure that you do not unplug your device. Uh, it's also very important that you only have one device plugged in at a time um, as far as your Verpal uh, hardware goes. Um, only have one Verpal device plugged in at a time. Uh, doing, by not doing that, you could damage your device. So make sure that you just do one at a time. Uh, and, and then that's why you can see only one up here. And we will do, it will kind of freeze. This is all live time. Don't click cancel, don't close it. Just be patient and wait. And there it is. Okay, now we're gonna to come to profile. We're gonna set this up as a standalone. So we will choose your base. Under modification, you have joystick mode or slave mode. Uh, if you're using this as a standalone, you will use joystick mode as a slave to go through your throttle. You will click on slave, slave mode. So we're going to just go standalone. So joystick mode, great new profile. And we wait. All this is in real time. There is no cuts or edits or anything. That way you guys can see just how long it takes to actually run your profile. And now we'll come up to Axis. We'll go Calibrate. Turn your Axis dials all the way up and down a few times. And back to center. These, this uh, control panel does have a center detent on it. Back to center. Save Calibration. And we're almost ready to use it. And almost there.
and done. So now this is ready to go as a standalone unit. You are ready to jump in and start binding your buttons. You can see here everything working. Um, the buttons that are down already is the two here. So everything is looking good. Okay, so you're good to go. You can now close this and jump into your favorite game. Start binding buttons. Now let's show you guys how to set this up as a slave unit, um, or it slaves it to the throttle. We're going to go to the configuration tool. And we wait, like always, a whole lot of waiting. Okay, so we've already done our firmware update, so I'm not gonna do another one. So we come to profile. We're gonna select this as panel base and as slave mode, create new profile. Once this is done, Okay, so now we are done here. So we can go ahead and unplug our USB. So I will unplug it from the computer. I'm going to unplug it from the back of the control panel. Now we will grab our other included cable here. Now you're gonna want this cable came with it, little DIN cable. We are going to close off the USB. And we will be coming out of the out. Record in. I moved the camera around, sorry. Doing this on my desk, it's a little, little tied up here. You will run this end into your auxiliary plug on the back of your throttle. And then you will come out of the back of your throttle with your USB. I have unhooked for some reason. So then you will come out of the USB side of your throttle and plug it into your computer. Give this just a minute to load that up. Now you can see our throttle here. Second to load. Do make sure that your firmware is updated on your throttle also. Uh, so you guys are running the same firmware. When you do the firmware update, I have videos on that. Um, same procedure as the control panel. Just don't plug your control panel into it until after your firmware is done. Now we will go to profile. We're going to do CM2. I use the five-way modifier and control panel one. Create new profile. Okay. Now we can jump over here to Axis, Calibrate Axis, and we will go through all of our Axis on both our throttle and our control panel. Let me unlock my throttles. And I have other videos on how to do it. You just want to go up and down with all of your um, controls. Turn them back to their dead zone position, whether that be up or down. Come over here. Throttle. Or the control panel. Um, You have a center detent once again, save calibration to profile. And about done. And there you go. So if we switch over to buttons over here, now see 
all of your buttons are active. Okay, so that is how you set them up. Uh, your controls through both your using it as a standalone or as a slave mode. Hope you guys found this video useful. Make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Also consider joining the Discord. I get on Discord usually once or twice a day just to chat. Uh, you guys can find me on there. I'm working on making a schedule and Twitter. So follow me on, on Twitter also. That way you guys can see upcoming projects I have going on. And uh, if you have any questions, you can ask them on there as well. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you all on the next one.